As part of our Essential Goalkeeper Skills Series, we put together a progression of exercises to develop the goalkeeper's aerial game. The first exercises in the progression are introductory exercises to prepare the players for more intense drills. These introductory exercises include movement patterns that are utilized when catching or deflecting high shots or crosses. These exercises include one and two fist punching exercises that allow the goalkeeper to mechanize punching movements utilized to powerfully clear shots or crosses that are too dangerous or challenging to be caught. The purpose of this exercise is to perfect punching the ball so that it continues in the same direction modifying its trajectory and speed. In a game situation, this is used with a high cross in order to send the ball away from attackers. It can also be used to send a high shot over the crossbar. When performing these diving exercises, the player should attempt to fully extend his arms and body. Here, when getting up from a grounded position, the goalkeeper needs to pop himself up as quickly as possible, as would be the case in a game situation. When performing the overhead two-handed catches, the keeper should work on catching the ball at the highest point in his jump with arms fully extended. Notice how to implement this drill with a keeper and a coach, as well as two keepers working at the same time challenging each other as much as possible. This is a similar drill where the goalkeeper has to react and adjust to the ball coming off of the bounce. Continuing to increase the intensity of the progression, the keeper reacts and catches close range drop kicks and pace. This is the most challenging drill in the progression, which requires a number of elements including a quick sprint, change of direction, agility, and time. After a short sprint, the keeper changes direction and adjusts to the trajectory of the incoming cross. The poles with the cones on top simulate field players the keeper must quickly navigate through to reach the ball at the highest point possible.
The keeper's first option should be to catch the ball with two hands. If the ball is too challenging to catch, the second option is to punch the ball far away from danger with one or two fists. The goalkeeper must maintain his sight on the ball in the air while using his peripheral vision to detect the position of the poles. The final exercise in the progression requires a sprint forward followed by a quick change in direction in response to a high shot on goal. The keeper must use all of his options available to catch or deflect the ball to avoid receiving the goal. To motivate players, you can keep score to see which player receives the fewest goals.